Finally, one more thought. And this one hits close to home. New York is, after all, the home of Wall Street. That location in lower Manhattan named for a wall the Dutch built in the 17th century to keep out the British and pirates. And let's be frank, I'm not sure how successful they were on either of those. New York has always been centered in business and in commerce. It's always been open to the world, particularly the commercial world. And so when the pandemic hit and commerce and imports, whether of goods or of tourists, shut down overnight, New York was hit particularly hard. We care about uh, the things that most citizens care about, public safety, education, uh, and the ability of the city to attract jobs and young people. This week, New York took an important step toward coming back as it gathered at the polls for the first time since the pandemic. An election as we are coming out of COVID, an election in the aftermath of the greatest crisis New York City has ever faced. This first post-pandemic election was to choose the candidates for mayor and comptroller and the rest of the city leadership. We don't know the results yet. We won't know for some weeks to come because of that ranked choice voting we've learned so much about. But we do know that Wall Street will have a new mayor and one that sees the enormous potential for growth. I'll rebuild our economy while tackling violent crime and bring New York back. To recover from the pandemic, we can't just wing it. I have a plan to build a healthier, more livable city. So once again, it's time for New York to reinvent itself. And whatever our political persuasion, Global Wall Street has to be rooting it on.